so we're back at it again with another video and um preaching the gospel in the most sexual city now i just watched like probably like i'd say like a minute of this video and y'all people are so lost the bible tells us that my people will perish for the lack of a knowledge people need to get right with jesus now okay people need to get right with jesus now you may think it's all fugazi and phony and everything the moment you get right with jesus i guarantee them demons them think them demons that has been attacking you those spirits that has been attacked i promise you they're gonna flee at the name of jesus they're gonna flee at the name of jesus. the bible tells that demons tremble at the name of jesus so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. Uh, I'll get all my thoughts at the end of the video. So get your popcorn, enjoy the video. Let's get it. Let's go. God bless you all. I'm bringing y'all the greatest message of humanity, and that is Jesus Christ. I want to let y'all know that He loves you all. Jesus loves you all so much. Nobody wants to hear you preach your word to them. They Look, believe what they believe. you may not want to hear it, but Shake there's a soul suffering. That's to keep walking. I will not. Keep walking. I will not keep walking. I will preach the gospel. Here. We all believe in something. Jesus wants to rescue you. For how long will we continue to worry about how we will enjoy our lives? I want to let you know that our soul, our soul is at stake. And without Jesus, there is no salvation of the soul. Look, you may look like you're enjoying, but it, inside of you, you're empty. There is void. And you feel like you don't know what to do with yourself anymore. What is this? I want to let you know that Jesus is the only way, brother. Jesus can give you peace. Jesus, he's the God of all languages, brother. You know what, my name is Josh. Jesus wants to save your soul, brother. He can rescue you. He can rescue you. We all love you. We all love you. No. If, if we say we're of him, we have to be an example. This is not an example. I just love music. But we're not Jesus. I understand. There's a lot of things that human beings love because you love it doesn't make it right. We're human and God understands that. So he sent his son to perfect you and give you a chance for eternity. We're not his son. You're not his son. No, no, no. He is we're not Jesus. Jesus. Everyone is either son of Satan or son of Jesus Christ. Satan owns this world. He owns this world, but Jesus overcame the world. Jesus Christ made a way for you to have life. Jesus is the only way, brothers. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Y'all gotta go, brother. You can't preach the gospel? I'm following orders of my supervisors. Y'all out here. This is not public? No. Nah, no, nah, y'all gotta move around, bro. I'll give up everything you for the gospel. The Bible says if you deny good. me before you men, you would deny save me before my father. You go to the sidewalk and do that? That's fine. That's yeah, public property, but this is private property. No problem. We'll go. Thank you. Have a good night. Y'all have a good night, too. <laughs> you too. It is what it is, man. Yo, oh, man, Clyde, the biggest. Man, we down here in Dallas, rumble in the jungle, biggest dog show that happened in goddamn Texas. I got, I got a question for y'all. Call at me. God forbid, but if tonight was to be your last night, y'all think you'll enter heaven or hell? Probably hell. Why you say that, bro? You're not scared of hell? No, I ain't scared of hell. Why not? Well, bro. You know hell is very tormenting and it's for eternity? And, and Jesus made a way for humanity to be able to be saved? I don't believe in Jesus no more. Why not? Because of certain things that happen in your life? But you know, there's also a devil that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Maybe God is sending me to let you know that that evil work was not God. It was Satan. Let us repent and believe in Jesus, brother. Jesus loves y'all. My God. I just want to tell you all that Jesus Christ loves you all so much and God is calling us to himself to have a relationship with God. Jesus. He says Jesus is what? I appreciate Jesus. Ma'am, do you know Jesus is coming very soon and he's coming back for a clean bride and he's calling us to a place of repentance so he can heal us, deliver us, set us free and allow us to feel peace. 
So you need Jesus, right? Society does. Do you, do you need Jesus? I have Jesus. Because you know, you know you can look like you're having fun on the outside and everything, but inside maybe there's sorrow, there's a void, there's an empty, emptiness. Do you feel sometimes that emptiness, that void in you? That I have Jesus. You have Jesus? And so do you think that dressing like this represents Jesus very well? Just an honest question. Just an honest, an honest question. What? But don't you think that you should... Neighbor. Don't I, I'm just trying to help someone so yeah like what's your bro did she just say God said love thy neighbor God said love thy neighbor but do y'all not think that see y'all want God to all be to be about love God is about love don't get that mis misconstrued he is but y'all gotta understand we say our father who art in heaven our father what does a father do when you're disobedient to him your actual father, and I know a lot of us didn't grow up with fathers. Let's just say parents. What do your parents do when you're disobedient? Do they just let you run wild? Some of y'all parents probably do. And that's probably why y'all out here doing what y'all doing. But I know my mother, because I, I wasn't raised with my father, because my father passed when I was three. But even my stepfather, that was structure. I, they will show love to me but also will receive their wrath when I was disobedient to them. When they would tell me to do something over and over and over again and i didn't do it i will receive their wrath i will receive their anger because now i have disobeyed them now i have walked over them my parents never let me walk over them when i got too out of hand it was it was time for some it was time for that belt to hit that booty it was time for that my parents didn't play and a lot of y'all think that oh god said don't come over here talking about that false christianity and this that's not false christianity he told y'all the real Look at y'all right now, bro. Y'all, bro, y'all are empty in the inside. Uh, y'all are empty, bro. Y'all allowing the devil just con to control. Oh my gosh, I just stuttered. Y'all are allowing the devil to control y'all, to control every step of y'all. Y'all let him, now I'm not even gonna say control because the devil can't control you. He can't, he can't control you, but he can influence you. And now y'all are being influenced by the devil to continue to walk on the path that y'all walking. The bro said that he not even scared of hell. Bro, you must be out of your mind. You must be out of your rabbit mind thinking you're not scared of hell. You ain't scared of it right now because right now you in a physical body. Right now you can live your life. Right now you can get drunk and smoke weed and party. You can do all them things right now. But the moment you die, the moment you die and you get sent to hell, oh, you go wish you listen to the people that was on this earth trying to tell you about repentance. You're going to wish, bro, I be looking at these little, these hell revelations and people be having like God actually be taking people through these things to come back to tell people about this stuff fam i'll be watching those videos and it's not even just those videos that 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 makes me think this way it's also the word of god because i know that if we continue to live in our sin and live a life full of like no repentance at all we're going to receive god's wrath we're going to receive his judgment and we're going to go to hell y'all not scared of hell right now because y'all y'all like this is fun this is life this is enjoy it live it up you only get one shot yeah, you only get one shot until your soul is burning for eternity. For eternity. Hell, heaven, outside of this room, the spiritual room has no time. So you know, you, you, you down burning for eternity. There is no time limit. God didn't say, I'm going to send everyone to hell for 48 hours. No, there is no time outside this room. There is no time. So you in hell for whatever long you in hell for. Y'all got it, man. Y'all better get right, bro. Y'all tripping. Y'all is tripping. Question. Hey, hey, no, no, like I mean, we're having a good conversation. Why do you care? Jesus don't care. Why do you? She's no, having. We're having a good conversation. No, I just want to know. Is that your channel? Yes. No, no, it's not. It's not my channel. Uh, what's it's not channel? Uh, the witness. The witness. Yeah. Do you come down here often? Yeah, I often. I come preach. You come preach. Yeah. Are you asking? You know, I didn't ask if she represents Jesus. I asked her that she believe that the way she, the way she's dressed right now, is representing Jesus very well. I'm not trying to represent Jesus. Jesus. I would never put my place. Jesus is God. I would never put my place where. But Paul said, Paul said, I am not Jesus. But Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. We're called to follow Jesus. In order, in order to follow me, you have to deny yourself, pick up your cross. So that's why, that's why I come here. So I'm really out here to open the eyes of the blind.
to let you know that Jesus loves you, okay? Your past doesn't have to define your now or your future. But we have to, it, it's, it's, really, it's really a matter of being concerned because I know how much Jesus loves you all and there's a place where our souls can end up. No, I'm not hating. No, Jesus. Look, Jesus. Jesus doesn't hate the people, but he hates the sin. Jesus doesn't hate. The, you know what is sin? We all sin, but the Bible says, "Should we continue in sin that grace may abound?" And Paul says, "Certainly not." You know, so we're called to be imitate Jesus. I understand that all of this stuff. You know, you're doing all this stuff, but we have to repent and change our ways and not be like the people of this world. We have to be different, and that's and. You, you think you're different? So, I mean, don't you think that this can provoke a man that is weak to lust, the way you're dressed? You don't think that the way you're dressed can provoke a weak man who's not strong spiritually in Christ? You can provoke him to fall into lust? It's not about me to control him. Sorry? It's not about me to control the desires of a man. Well, sometimes men can't control their own desires. Why can't, why can't? Because because they're struggling with a battle that is beyond them. And, but not everybody who knows Jesus. And the Bible talks about anyone. Yeah, and I'm here to help I'm, people I'm, I'm, Look, ma'am, I want to tell you, repent because our soul is getting up in heaven or hell after we take our last breath. Today was given, tomorrow is not promised. I know you're a kind person, you have a good heart. But I want to let you know that what you're doing here doesn't please God. And He's calling you to a place where you open your heart and allow the Holy Spirit to dwell in you so He can help you overcome these desires, worldly desires, the, pride, the, the, the lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, the pride of life. So I encourage you, sister, repent. Be different for the sake of all these souls. You don't know maybe. Jesus have a good connection. No. I'm sorry, ma'am. You don't know what the connection between me and Jesus is. Okay, if, if anyone who has a relationship with Jesus, you're able to see something different, you know, in the outside and in the inside. You know, a lot of people think that, oh, it's all about the heart. It's all about the heart. It's not only about the heart. The Bible talks about maintaining our body, soul, and spirit blameless, you know. So God is also looking at the outside. So I want to encourage you. Let us change our ways. Give God room to do His perfect his perfect work in you. Jesus loves you. The connection between me and Jesus and me and God is the connection that I have with them and no one else understands. And I, I have that connection. A true connection with a holy God would not have you like this. I'm, I'm being honest with you. No, and I'm not perfect either. Yeah. Nobody. And that's the, that's the excuse. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. But like he said, if you you are if you are in Christ, and I said in my last video, if you are in Christ, we should see people in the world should see that you're different. I had somebody tell me because they they, they I forgot what the conversation was about, but he was like, "Man, you different." He's seen Christ in me before I could share that. Obviously, he already knew I was a Christian. He already knew I was a Christian, but he's seen something different in me already. I was different. I stand out from the rest of the guys that are in this world. It's not me. It's not based off my words. It's because I have the Holy Spirit living inside me, and I'm not perfect. I have struggles. I have struggles, but I'm not comfortable in my sin. That's one thing I'm not. I'm not comfortable in my sin. I repent. I repent and tell the Lord, look, Lord, forgive me for anything that I have done today that was not of you. There's a lot of times that I go outside and sometimes I can misrepresent Jesus and the way that I may talk to someone. I may be mad and frustrated at someone and I may go off on them a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I may misrepresent Jesus. I have struggles, but 90 nine or i wouldn't even say 99 because i'm not perfect i'm not i wait i can't even put no percentage on it just know that when i step outside i am a representation of christ like how when you was a kid you was a representation of your parents so if you act out guess who they're looking at they're not looking at you they're looking at your parents like man what's going on at home your parents need to be more in control of you but when you when you are stepping outside as an adult now you're a representation of god when, when i step outside i'm a representation of christ I need, I need people to see the light that shines through me. I want God to use me as a vessel. When I step outside, I step outside knowing that, okay, I am God's son. I am a child of God. So guess what that means? That means I have to walk like Jesus Christ. I have to walk like my savior. 
Not only do I have to walk like my Savior, but I am a representation of someone. When I step outside, people need to see that it's Christ living inside me. It's the Holy Spirit inside of me. That is what, that is like the, the power, the, the looks, the heart that I have is from the Holy Spirit. It is not from my own words. I give all glory to God. It is God because I gave my life to Jesus Christ and I received the Holy Spirit. That is why I'm different. That is why the Bible tells that we need to be set apart from the world. When you're looking like this, you are not set apart from the world because guess what? You look just like the people around you. They don't know that you're Christian. They don't know you believe in Jesus because you look just like them. That's why we can't put the world inside. We can't mix the world inside the church. Because if I go to the church, I want to see a difference. I don't want to see the same thing I'm seeing in the world. How God going to move me from the world, but I'm going to church that's bringing the world into the church. So now I'm more back into the world. It's like, come on, man. Let's make it make sense. We have to do better as a body of Christ. You say you believe in Jesus, you're right. I don't know how your relationship builds with Jesus and, Jesus and God, as you say. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how your relationship, even though they're one, but I don't know how your relationship is with God. I don't know. I don't know. But the Bible tells us that we know a fruit, we know a tree by its fruits. And the fruits that you're producing, showing your showing your breasts, dressing half naked, causing men to lust. You, you, you know, like you in the you are feel, you are around a whole bunch of sinners. If you are Jesus, if you are Jesus lover, you are around a whole bunch of sinners. Not only are you around a whole bunch of sinners, and before I even I'm gonna I'm gonna clarify myself because I, I know people gonna say Jesus hung around sinners. Jesus hung look at what he was doing around them sinners, though. It was all about repentance. It wasn't him hanging around them trying to look like them, trying to dress like them. Look, look, look. Jesus, Jesus came just how the culture dressed, which was obviously their culture and the way they dressed was different. But if, if Jesus, if, if, if it was a person that was half naked, dressing half naked, dre Jesus wasn't going to dress like that. Jesus wasn't going to dress like that. You know what I'm saying? That's just not what Jesus was going to do. He had to be set apart from the world. He had to be different from the world. I hope y'all get what I'm saying. What she's doing right now is she's filled with a whole bunch of sinners. She ain't pre preaching repentance to these sinners. She's trying to look like them. She's being like them. She's she's evolving to their culture, to their sin. So now the devil is all around her. The devil is all around her, and she's being influenced by the devil, by the works of the devil. When Jesus was walking this earth, he was preaching repentance. The devil could not have a grip on Jesus. The devil came into the de in the uh, in the wilderness with Jesus, and he tried to he tried to get Jesus to fall short of God's glory, but he couldn't because guess what? Jesus is God. Not only is he God, but he came because he wanted people to 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 preach. I mean, he wanted to uh, preach repentance to people to get people saved. That's why Jesus came and he spoke to these sinners. He didn't come from the righteous that was already so called perfect, like the Pharisees wanted to be so bad. He came for the people that was blind, for the lost sheep. He said that he leave the ninety nine to find the one. You are that one sister that he's trying to find, but you are filled in the world of darkness, and that you we can't even see the light because you're filled with around the darkness. I would never know you was a Jesus follower because you're filled with darkness because you're around darkness i would never knew i would never knew if i was around if i was in a strip club throwing my entire checks on on booty and i got a ring on but i'm throwing my checks inside bro you would even know that i was a follower of jesus christ you even know that i was a that i was a man of god you even know that i had a wife for real for real i may have a ring on but the ring don't mean nothing if i'm in a club doing this but I'm supposed to love Jesus Christ. You wouldn't even know the difference because I'm so I'm in the world. I'm in a, a place filled of darkness. I ain't preaching repentance. I'm trying to see booty get bounced and shaked and all type of stuff. We gotta do better, bro. <sighs> Let me finish. Okay. It's perfect. But we have to fight to go towards that route. If you know that something is wrong and you do it willingly, the Bible talks about crucifying the Son of Man again on the cross. Your life's no, I'm not because I'm preaching the gospel. I'm doing something that pleases God. So why do you come downtown to preach the gospel to people that you know are going to be like you? Because Jesus didn't come for the healed. He came for the sick. Jesus. That's what, that's what I was trying to say. Jesus didn't come for the healed. He came for the sick. Okay? That's what I said in about righteous. You know, same thing. Heal, sick. Okay, anyways. This came for the ones that needed a doctor. Jesus is the doctor of doctors. There's a lot of people that are doing what they're doing because they don't know the truth. I, I, look, I want to believe you and I want to trust you that you are doing this actually for the kindness and offer of viewers. And I think that's right. Yeah, God will be the judge. God will be the judge. And you're not the first person that says this. There's like 10 people that have said this before. And the reason why I do it in front of camera is because it reaches more souls. If Satan uses the internet to to uh, mislead people, Jesus can also use the internet to lead people. Sorry? Where do you think you're 
Are you uh, live streaming? YouTube. Right no, no, not live. Oh, it's YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. 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 Yeah. It's the Witness. Okay. Cool. The Witness. Yeah. So, yeah, I just want to okay, let you know. Look, I want you to have a good night. I'm just trying to say. Me? Yeah. People do things because it's hard to. You don't know all the people, right? Of course. You don't know why they're doing what they do. Yeah, but no matter the background, nothing is hard for the Holy Spirit. Jesus changes the unchangeable, you know? So I encourage you, seek God. God will help you. He will open your eyes to see the reality, you know? Because the Bible says, seek... I'm an Episcopalian. Sorry? I've grown up Episcopalian. So what is that exactly? What are you? Non-denominational. So you're non-denominational? Yeah. Do you, what denominations are you familiar with? Like, what, Sorry? What denominations are you familiar with? Um, I mean, there's Mormon, uh -huh. there's <laughs> Catholic, there's Jehovah's Witness. What were you raised as? Um, non-denominational. Non I gave my life to Jesus when I was 17. Okay. Yeah, I gave yeah. mine uh, earlier than that when I, because I've been raised a Episcopalian my whole life. So what is that exactly? Do you know? Or? Yeah, I know what Episcopalian is. What is it? i never heard of it. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. It's like Catholic light. Oh, Catholic? So it's, it's very uh, traditions that Catholics follow. Yeah. Tradi tradition is not from God. Yeah. Tradition? Traditions. You said traditions? Traditions? Yeah. It says, I didn't say that. Oh, okay. My bad. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we follow the Word of God, right? The Word of God. So I just wanted to come. I feel like God sent me to you. Thank you. I don't believe in luck. I believe I'm blessed. Yes. Amen. Yes, you, Amen. So repent. Jesus loves you. I Let us change that. our ways I so one day we can be with our Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless. God bless. Have a good night, man. You too. Thank you. Jesus loves you all. And Jesus paid a high price. I want to let y'all know that he took our place in the cross because we couldn't pay this depth of death. The Bible says that the consequence of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And this gift of life, eternal life, is for everyone who is willing to believe in Jesus. Jesus can change you. Jesus can transform you, and He can give you a new life. You can be enjoying this moment, but whenever you wake up, how do you feel inside? Maybe there is a void. Maybe there is an emptiness. I want to tell you that Jesus is enough and He can offer you more than this world can ever offer you. Jesus can offer you more than any relationship can offer you. The Bible says that there is no other way to... There is... A lot of people didn't want to hear Jesus. He told me to preach, so I'm going to preach. The Bible says that Jesus is... God bless. God bless. Thank you. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. One day we'll all stand before God and we will be judged according to what we did with the time that He gave us. I want to let you know that Jesus went about preaching repentance. Jesus went and He said, Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. The most terrible and the mighty day is coming where the sky will break open and Jesus will come for the true Christians, not the false Christians. Without Jesus, there is no way out. Seek Jesus, repent, and change your ways. Jesus loves you all so much. Receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Flee from sin. The devil is using so many people. Receive Jesus Christ tonight. In Jesus' name. God is faithful. You see, there's a look, this is the number one thing that I get from people. I believe in Jesus. I'm Christian. I've been Christian all my life. But the thing is this, and this is why I preach against sin is because sin is responsible why a lot of people are bound, are suffering, are depressed, are anxiety, and sometimes because of sin, they end up leaving their faith because it opens the door for the enemy. Most of the people that I'm preaching to here, they're not only lost souls. There's people 
who've heard about Jesus, who've heard about the gospel, and even know the Word of God. Somebody like that, she grew up Christian, she became Christian before I became Christian, you know? But you can't say, I believe in Jesus, and you're living a lifestyle of sin, willingly, it, it, you cannot enter heaven like that. You cannot enter heaven like that. So please, if you're somebody that says you believe in Jesus, and you're a Christian, you have to be a true Christian. You have to follow the Word. You have to be the Word becoming flesh. When people see you, they have to see a difference. I'm telling you. To and that's facts. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? That was pretty much the end of the video, by the way, y'all. <laughs> it was no more. That was, that was pretty much the end. I got like a couple seconds left. Like literally probably like four, 40 seconds. But yeah, that was pretty much the end of the video. And he's not lying, bro. He's not lying. Like literally when people see you, they need to see a difference. We need to be the light. Okay. We need the light to shine through us. But how can I be in a room full of darkness? And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just kind of like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I'm just, I'm just going to use this word because it's just like for lack of vocabulary, uh, obtaining to, to people sin. I'm, I'm, I'm literally just acting like them, but I'm calling myself a Christian. I'm calling myself a believer in Christ, but no one can come across me and see that I'm a Christian or a believer in Jesus Christ because I look just like them. How can I be a, 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 a follower of Jesus, but I'm looking, sounding, acting just like the world. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Y'all it's real. Y'all need to get y'all life to Christ, bro. Like, Y'all, I get it. People believe in everything. Okay, cool. Whatever. But no one is seeking truth. People are believing in something because they was raised in it. Once I once I fully gave my life to Christ myself, because I was raised Christian. I am a non-denominational. I don't, you know, I I, I say Christian for, for people that don't know non-denominational. You know what I'm saying? But I should start saying non-denominational so I can, you know, tell people what non-denomination really is. But however, I was raised Christian. But when I finally gave my life to Christ myself, I wanted to do deeper research. I love looking at different questions about Christ, finding different history on why the Bible is truth. I'm not just sitting there saying, well, I was raised this way because guess what? Your parents could lead you astray too. Your parents could lead you to hell too because they leading you into something that they was raised in and that their parents was raised in. And it's just like a generational thing. But guess what? I had to find the truth for myself. I had to seek Jesus for myself. I found God when I was 18, but I started to truly follow after Jesus when I was, what, I say 19, 20? I started to really follow after Jesus at 19 or 20. Then I really started to do my research and want to know more and realize, oh, like, how is this the truth? I had questions like, how is Jesus God? Is he really God? I had questions like that, and I found the truth in the word of God itself, and I asked the Lord to help me with these things, and God gave me a revelation on how Jesus is God. He gave it to me. He showed me. That's how I end up went to that scripture, Philippians chapter two, verse six to seven. That's how I found that scripture. That's how I realized that dang, Jesus is God. And I realized this thing because I asked the Lord, because I humbled myself and came to the Lord and, and asked for repentance and asked him to forgive me each and every day that I fall short of his glory. Because I don't know when I fall short, but I just pray that God forgive me because I could, I could be dealing with something that I don't even know that's a sin. And that one sin can lead me to hell. That can lead me to hell. Y'all need to get right with God now. Find truth. Seek truth. Stop following what y'all was born in. Actually seek the truth. Stop being in religion and be in a relationship with Christ. Religion is going to lead you to hell. The reason why religion is going to lead you to hell because that's exactly what happened to the Pharisees. They didn't recognize Jesus Christ because they were so stuck in their religion. They were so stuck in their religious ways that they didn't even recognize who Jesus Christ really was. You don't recognize who Jesus Christ really is because you're stuck in a religion. You're stuck on how you was raised. You're stuck on these different these different viewpoints on who jesus really is you're stuck on that. instead of opening the bible for yourself a lot of y'all just stuck on what other people say you have to open the bible for yourself to see who jesus really is stop going based off what your pastor say stop going based off what tiktok say instagram say they don't know jesus for real the only way you can know jesus is by opening up that holy bible and seeking truth that's the only way you can know jesus and humble yourself and then you will find you will see truth the bible say a man who seeks shall find that if you knock the door shall be open if you if you come to christ if you um 
What is it? Is you if you come to Christ, Christ will come to you. I forgot the exact words that say that in the scripture, but literally the Bible tells us these things. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. That's what the scripture. Draw near to Him, and He will draw near to you. So get right with Jesus Christ right now, man. But I love y'all. Hope you guys enjoy y'all day. Hit the like button, subscribe to no notifications, bro. My mic ended up cutting out on the last part, but <laughs> draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. And I think I was just gonna end the video of that, but God love y'all, man. Uh, just I just pray that y'all really get right with God. Okay, see the devil don't even want y'all to hear this, even though the the the, end, the last clip it just cut out like literally towards the end. He ain't that clever. The devil ain't that clever, man. But uh, yeah, man, I love y'all, bro. I just I just pray that y'all all really seek the Lord, seek the Lord with all y'all heart, please. Okay, I'm telling you, your eternity is on the line. Let me just break it down like this, and I'm done. I'm done. I promise. Okay. If there is no God, if there is no Jesus Christ, if there is, if all this was a fairy tale and we just die and it just pitch dark, like how we sleep, if that's the case, then kudos. I, I lived a good life. I loved one another. I cherished others. I put others before myself. Okay. I lived this perfect. I, no, I won't say perfect. I did not live no perfect life. Okay. Let me, let me watch out for my work. I didn't live no perfect. Life. I'm not perfect. I, I I'm not perfect. I'm filthy. I'm dirty. Okay. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Well, who cleansed me is my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I'm not comfortable with my sin. That's why I live a life full of repentance. I just have to throw that out there because I don't want people to think that I'm, oh, he said he's perfect. I'm not. I'm not. But I lived a life dedicated to someone who wasn't real. Okay. Let's say that is true. That's it. Kudos. We just live life. But let's say God is real. Jesus Christ is going to judge us. Heaven and hell is real. And when we die, we have to face the judge. Now you just live the life fulfilling your flesh instead of your spirit. You live the life feeding your flesh instead of feeding your spirit. And now you're going to end up somewhere that you would not want to be because our spirits are connected to God itself. Everyone knows there is a God. Everyone knows that. I don't care what atheists say there is not. They, man, look, they know there is a God. Okay. They just don't want to believe that there is a God. But trust me, no atheist can make sense of the fact that this all this just came into nothing. No, no atheist can make sense of it. They can't show no, no, they, they go about, oh, we're going to find this for proof. Come on, bro. Our souls and spirits, like our spirit is literally connected to the Lord. We know there is a God. We know there is something. Okay. We know that. Everyone knows that. That's why so many different religions. It's just all about. You have to seek the truth. You have to find that one and truth only God. There's only one God, and that's Yahweh. That's what I'm saying. If I if I if I was right about all this, you have to seek, you have to find the judge. You have to put your you have to be in front of the judge. And that judge, who is God, Yahweh Yahshua, the, the judge is going to literally have its whole have your whole entire eternity in their hands. And it's either you gonna go to heaven or hell. You got to think about this stuff, bro. It's not no 50-50 with this. It's not. I'd rather live my life for God than live my life thinking there is no God and there is a God and now I'm finna go to hell because there was a God. Like, I'm not, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna live, I, I can't. I love y'all, man. I pray that y'all really see truth, find truth. Uh, it's me, your boy, Depend. God bless, stay blessed. Peace. <laughs>